Earlier this year, I reviewed the Lenovo ThinkPad P14S, and it instantly became my main mobile PC with its comfortable peripherals, capable APU, and subtle but elegant styling. Later on in the year, I reviewed the Asus Zephyrus G14, a rambunctious challenger that's a crowd favorite amongst my target audience. I couldn't make up my mind which laptop to keep, so I made a video about a point-based comparison, and on the rudimentary Excel spreadsheet you see before you, the ThinkPad P14S wins by a fair margin. And then I discovered... G-Helper. Okay, discovered is a strong word. It was revealed to me by a viewer in the comment section of the G14 review. Anyway, G Helper is a third party utility that's made to replace both the bloated mess that is Armory Crate and the My Asus app on all popular Asus ROG laptops and notebooks. It does so with a footprint that takes up a whopping 32 megabytes of RAM and lets you control everything from the power management of the CPU and GPU, the refresh rate of the display, the color of the keyboard backlight, and the battery charge limit. All from this simple interface that takes up not even a quarter of the screen's real estate. Using this tool, I've successfully refined the mobile gaming potential of the Zephyrus G14. I've tuned the silent mode to limit the power draw of the AMD Ryzen 9 from 45 watts down to just 19. Doing this doubled the battery life while using Citra from 2 to 4 hours. This being the case, Dolphin also runs at an acceptable pace, and SNES 9X yields three more hours and the same great experience it always has. Thanks to the ultra-high cooling efficiency of the processor, an unnoticeable amount of performance is lost while using Citra, and the gameplay still looks fantastic. Another huge benefit to this is the lowered heat output. This machine now stays perfectly cool and quiet in my lap, even when playing games with Dolphin. The best thing about G-Helper is that it runs automatically when booting up Windows, which is a hurdle too large to overcome for similar applications like AMD Ryzen Master. No other manufacturer allows this much access to their BIOS, like Dell or Lenovo, but Asus doesn't seem to mind. You can even undervolt the CPU here, allowing for even greater battery life if you're desperate for it. Personally, I've been more than pleased with the benefits that G-Helper has brought to the table so far without undervolting. Now it's time to readdress the spreadsheet. Obviously, the battery life category is getting an instant jump to the max value of 5, seeing as how it's now extremely competitive compared to the ThinkPad, thanks to a lower CPU power draw from a larger battery. This brings the grand total to 57 for both laptops. But wait a minute, there's more to the story. Assuming you haven't watched the video, the reason why the retro gaming value is a 3 for the Asus G14 is because of the battery life. The overall experience is easily the best of the two, thanks to the wonderful 120Hz screen with very little ghosting and excellent speakers. The reason why it's only a 3 is because of the limited battery life while using Citra, which dampens the advantage of using emulators instead of PC gaming on the go. Since this limitation has been mitigated, this value can be bumped up to 5 as well, making the G14 trump the P14S instead of just matching it. In conclusion, thanks to G-Helper, the Asus Zephyrus G14 is now my preferred mobile PC, despite its gaudy styling and keyboard backlight that looks like ass. I'll miss the elegant looks and fantastic peripherals of the ThinkPad, but the G14 really does fit all my needs and excels at every functional aspect. This has been an overview of the G-Helper app here on SlapTech. If you have an Asus ROG laptop or notebook and want to see what G-Helper can do for your gaming mobility, check out the GitHub link in the description below to download it. Keep in mind that it is a third-party software solution and can seriously damage your laptop or Windows installation if you don't know what you're doing and tend to move sliders into places they really shouldn't go. Now, if you liked the video, found it helpful, or at least entertaining, do me a favor and click the like button below. Ask any questions you have about G-Helper in the comments section. I'm sure someone will see it and correct any terrible answer I have to give in the most respectful and cordial way possible. The internet is always wonderful and helpful like that. And subscribe if you want as well. Why the hell not? Stay tuned for a review of a really small, really cheap, and really dumb ThinkPad. It's coming up next, so be sure not to miss it. Thanks for watching, and you guys... Mm.
have a good night.